friends. Today we are going to be making this snowman snow globe and it's super fun. You use cotton swabs and it's really easy and it's a great winter boredom buster, especially if you live in a super cold climate where it's snowing and it's wretchedly cold right now. With all of the inclement weather, this would be a perfect thing to make this week while you've got to stay inside a little bit. And before we get to our lesson, I'd like to share a little quote in this. Uh, today's quote is by Mark Twain, and it says, Kindness is a language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. I hope you enjoy this art lesson, and thanks for watching. Today's project, the supplies that we will need will be some white paint, some brown paint. Honestly, the tone doesn't matter. This white is just a, a white Craft Smart paint. Um, I believe it's from Michaels. Um, none of the materials in here are sponsored, um, just so you know. Now, the brown that I am using today is Burnt Sienna, um, and that's a Liquitex brand. Just They're all acrylic paints. Uh, the orange I'm using is Cadmium Orange Hue. You can use any old orange. The red is a red Craft, um, Craft Smart brand paint. A pencil, a paintbrush. Now this paintbrush I'm not going to be using for the actual bristles. I'm going to be using it for the end to do some of our snow drops. Um, just a smaller brush uh, to do the um, scarf. And then we've got Q-tips to make our snowman. And that is, and then we've got blue paper to do our snow globe. Red, um, just a different contrasting color. You can do red paper for the base. You could do black. You could do brown, any kind you have. So let's start off with our snow globe. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. This is just, this is actually a utensil holder and I keep my rulers and kind of longer objects in it um, and so that's what this is you could use a pot you could use a vase you could use a pail you could use a CD would be super easy um, or something like that and just trace around now I am tracing over I placed everything over to the left side because I would want to save paper and try to use as much as possible. And so I'm actually going to just do two because I know one of my children will want to do this project and it'll just make it a little bit quicker and easier. So we've got our two. Oh, I forgot to mention you will need scissors. Sorry about that. Um, so now we're gonna cut out our circle. Just real, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be a circle. It's kind of hard in this light and on the, the angle to try to show you to see this little pencil mark. So now, if you do have any pencil marks that are showing, super easy way to not see those so you don't have to continue trying to trim around them is to just flip it over. Now we're going to grab our white paint <coughs> and a Q-tip. Now you can do a couple of different things and you can even, with some scratch paper, you can, let's show you, you can do a couple of different things with Q-tips. And I wanna show you so you can get different different sizes of, of snowflakes and snow. So you can take the cute, take the cotton off of the cotton swab. And so I'll show you what that looks like. And so that's what those, that size will be. And so when you very first get your paint on, it's going to be a bit bigger. And then as you go further and you have less paint, it'll be a little bit smaller in size. And now I will show you what it'll look like you just use it with the cotton on it and so those are a little bit bigger and so I think what I'm going to do is for our snowman I'm going to 
do actually the cotton swab without any um, cotton on it. And so what we're gonna do is just kind of make, kind of outline our largest circle for the bottom of our snowman. Now I'm just dipping the paint back in, or dipping the, the cotton swab tip back in the paint as I go. If you don't have any cotton swabs, you could always use the end of a pencil, like the eraser. You could use the end of a paintbrush, like we talked about before. Um, and even this is quite similar in size, uh, this paintbrush and the cotton swab tip. Um, and so whatever you have, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of going out and buying a bunch of supplies just for one project, um, especially a quick and easy one like this. And so I am more of a fan of finding found objects or objects within your home that you can use or adapt to fit your needs. Okay, I'm just making this bottom circle a little bit larger because we're gonna want our other two top circles on our snowman to be a little bit like the size that we originally started with this one. And so you're just going to make it just kind of go around the edge and to make it bigger you just keep adding more more white dots to the outside edge. And that's how we're going to make that one bigger. Okay now We'll start up on our next circle. And if you don't have a big bottle of white craft paint, then no worries, just put this um, white paint onto your palette and just dip in your palette just like I am with the lid. And you'll notice, something probably kind of funny that you noticed is that I am left-handed, but I cut out my circle with my right hand, and that is because I am a little bit ambidextrous. I use my left hand to eat and to draw more fine details and to paint more fine details um, and I actually paint um, with both hands when I am doing my <coughs> own personal um, paintings and, and art for my own um, enjoyment and so I kind of utilize both hands and both arms I'm just adding, I'm just making this bottom one a little bit bigger in reference to our um, second circle. And then we're just gonna join it a little bit more because they kind of look like they were separate circles, but we want it to be a snowman. And so we want that to kind of come up. Now we'll start on our top Mr. Snowman head or Miss Snowman head. And this snowman is going to be looking up into the sky. And then later we'll make the base for our snowman, our snow person, our snow globe. Okay, I like that. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna connect this a little bit more and then round that out. 
There we go. And so now we are done with that part. And I'm just gonna put my um, little cotton swab on my scrap paper. And to clean it up, I just am going to roll it in there. And so then we don't get any paint anywhere. And I like to clean up as I go. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe some of this off of here. and then just use this backside to do our snow. And now one thing with construction paper and doing these dabs is you'll, if you do it too um, hard, if you push down and then lift up too hard, it'll lift up the paper. So what we wanna do is dab into the paint and then hold down with two fingers and kind of do that area and then and then move your hands and go to a different area. Use your the opposite hand that you're using. Hold the paper down. So now I'm coming over here, and so I want to hold it down over here. We're just being kind of random. There's no order in what we're doing this. If you see a little hole that doesn't have anything, you just blue, and just put a little put a little snowflake in there. Just try to keep your fingers off of the snowman. See how I wasn't holding over here and so it was lifting a little bit. And then you can always turn your paper, just be careful. And don't, try not to put your finger in one of the dots, but just see how the paper came up. So you're just gonna hold it and you can even hold it with your pinky of the hand that you paint with, of your drawing hand. And then I'm just gonna turn it around straight there for us. And there we go. And now I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and we'll come back. And once that's dry, we will add our scarf and our arms and our nose and our little coal um, face. And we are back and our snowman, our snow globe is dry. And we've got our red paper now. I just cut our red paper in half super quick. And now we want to make the base for our snow globe. And our snow globe, the way snow globes work is they kind of, it's almost like a, a little bit of a, of a bell. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda draw it out a little bit. Um, we're gonna end up And then come down. And then so it's kind of gonna be like a piece of pie, a pie shape or a pizza shape of a slice. Um, and then we'll just put it right on top. How's that? That should make it easy. So make yourself kind of a big pizza slice. Pizza slice or pie slice. Now don't worry about all of the pencil markings. We'll cut this out and then we'll um, put our snow globe on top. Uh, we'll flip over the paper and you won't be able to see anything at all. So we're just going to cut this out. that over <coughs> to put our scraps in the garbage and then we'll just take a glue stick 
I didn't mention that on the on the intro, but we will need <coughs> a glue stick or glue or tape. Honestly, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can do tape. Um, I'm just going to use a glue stick because I have it. Now, for me personally, with glue sticks, I prefer the Elmer's glue glue stick just because I feel that it they stick so much better. And now when you're placing your snow globe on, you don't have to do it any particular way. Just kind of put some uh, paste onto your onto your base and then kind of don't set it down yet but just kind of over it over the top kind of see how you want it where you want it placed so I think I'm gonna put mine just right there and I'm just gonna press it down and that will be done and if there's any spot where you don't have any um, paste underneath on the blue section you can just come back up and paste it right on there just like that Okay, and now we are ready to add our details. So let's let's start with our um, our cute little nose. Now I'm just using a real small brush. Um, you could even use the Q-tip again and make him kind of a dotted nose. Uh, I'm just going to kind of come in. Now we're going to make it so he's facing up so he's like looking at the snow and so we're just gonna kind of we're gonna draw kind of a carrot because what kind of noses do snow people have they have carrot noses and so we're just gonna paint a little triangle because that's what carrots are aren't they they look like long triangles So I'm just going to start here <coughs> and go up. Remember, a triangle just has three sides. We want two long, skinny sides and one short side. I've got a couple of with some red paint. Let's see, and let's do a scarf. angle it kind of where you think that snowman neck would be and so the neck's just going to be in between the two but instead of doing it all the way across you want to kind of do a little bit of a of a semicircle just around the base and then we can bring this up like they're like it's flying in the snow and a second one for the other tail of the scarf And now, let's get a little bit of water to this brown. <clears throat> and see, if your paint is ever clumpy and dried out a little bit, doesn't have the best texture, you just add a little bit of water. You now it's gonna thin it out, and so it's not gonna be as um, vibrant and opaque which means which opaque is a big word that means not see-through you can't see through it um, but we're just going to have a little bit of water and just kind of try to mix that water in and bring it back to life a little bit Now, arms on a snow person are going to be in our center, and so let's just draw a little stick arms. Let's give them or her little branches. And we just need one more over this way, and our little snow person is saying. Ah, I love the snow. Do 
you think that's what a, a snowman sounds like? If they could talk, what would your snowman say? Just do a quick little, little arms. Let's make his little hand a little bit bigger. And now you could, with some black paint, come through and add little buttons in that, but I think we, I am going to just use a Sharpie. <coughs> Let's see, I've got both this one. That one's a little bit better. I've got both a fine point and I've got an ultra fine point. And so I think I'm going to use the fine point on his little buttons. And just draw three, three little buttons. And then I'm going to take a smaller one. You don't have to do a smaller one, but I think I am just because I have it. Just do little circles. You could do this with a pen. You could do it with a marker. You can do it with anything you want. And so, we just got our cute little snowman. Now, if you want, you could write your name or you could say, happy winter. You could leave it blank, whatever you want. But that is our finished snowman, our snow globe. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button right down there in the bottom right corner and hit the bell button if you want to receive notifications for when I post weekly videos. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below if you have any questions or ideas for videos that you would like to see in the future. Have a great day.